Hey everyone, Technomint here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a video loop on your iPhone in two different ways. So let's get started. Now, the first way is going to be using the Photos app itself. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up Photos app. Now go ahead and find the video that you want to loop that we want to play in a loop. So in our case, let's go ahead and find video. And then you're going to click on select here and then select that video. And what we're going to do is click on these three dots here and add it to an album. So we're going to create a new album where it's going to say video. And this can be anything. You can name it whatever you like, video loop. And then we're going to add it to that album. Now, once we have added to that album, we're going to go ahead and open up that album. So this is the one. And from there on, we're going to click on these three dots up top here. And from there on, we're going to click on a uh, slideshow. Now under the slideshow here, we're going to go to click on option here and then you want to change this theme to however you want the transition to happen. I'll keep it as the first one and then music. If you want music or not, I'll select as none here so that it can play the original uh, music without interfering and then you want to select to repeat. So we're going to hit done here and then now what will happen is this video will loop for us. Now you see where the name of that title is for that album. It comes up after each of the loop. Now, if you want, you can also go ahead and just simply remove that name by selecting it um, to this name. Let's go ahead and do that. And then you can go ahead and rename album. Maybe you can rename it to just, uh, we're going to rename it to whatever you want. Done, loop, and then you're going to go ahead and click on slideshow and it will begin the looping process. The only downside to this is that each time you do loop it, it's just going to say those words. So what you can do is also is remove this option or you into the options here. We're going to do, you can try to do different options like if you dissolve, it's going to look like this where it's going to say the album name and then it's going to happen. And you can make it unique as well where it just keeps on looping the set of videos. And you can add more videos as well. So if you had like a couple videos that you want, you can click on that plus icon, add different ones. So that's going to be like a way to have like a different video set if you want to keep on looping maybe to a larger video. And then you start that size show and then it will loop after one after another just like that for you. Now another way to loop videos is by using iMovie. So in the App Store, it's an Apple uh, app, but you have to go to the App Store to download it. It's called iMovie. From there on, once you open up, you're going to click on Movie here. And then from there on, you, you go ahead and select a video you like to loop. In our case, maybe I want to loop this nine second one, create movie. And from there on, you're going to tap on this and keep on duplicating it. So the downside to this one is you, you duplicate it and it just increases the same per frame. And then you're going to hit done option here. So you have a bigger size video. This takes up memory, but it'll loop it as well. So if you go ahead and save it down here, you can click on the arrow up here, click on save, and then you can save the video. Again, this is just extending the video where each of the clips are just going to keep on looping without any of those extra stuff. And you can make it as long as you want. You can take a five seconds clip, make it into five hours or uh, I don't know how many hours you want. The only downside again is it's going to create a bigger video for you, but it is another option to loop a size using that. Now if I go into the videos, as you can see here, you take a five seconds clip and just keep on looping and you can loop it and upload it to maybe anywhere you want. So those are different ways to loop videos on your iPhone. I hope this video was helpful and you guys found it helpful as well. If so, please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.